Ann Baroque, author of the Candida Cure, is Candida issues often misdiagnosed as other problems? And, and what are some of the more common that you've, that you've seen? Absolutely. It's probably never addressed unless someone in the medical profession has some sense of that, and that's mm -hmm. still very limited. So, you know, the most common thing is anybody struggling with an autoimmune condition. So, particularly things like fibromyalgia. I mean, that's really just yeast overgrowth that's gone into the muscles. Uh, but anybody with autoimmune needs to seriously look at candida overgrowth as a, a core factor. And the other thing I want to mention, by the time you have yeast overgrowth, you're not just dealing with that. You have viral overload, bacterial overload, and more parasites because they all have the same environment of sugar that harbors this. So it gets uh, multifaceted and multidimensional. But everything from even anxiety, depression, mental illness, I really do think if we did more work with mentally ill people and got them in a certain vitamin uh, regimen and got rid of fungal overgrowth, these people would be much more functional. So everything from basic symptoms of fatigue to reflux, which is a huge issue, anxiety, depression. Once again, the yeast goes where you're most vulnerable. And so a lot of people, for the women particularly, will have a lot of endocrine disruption. Uh, the thyroid goes haywire. Uh, I think it's kind of pandemic that people are having issues with their pancreas. So it's hypo blood sugar, you know, hypoglycemia, so low blood sugar, and hyperglycemia, diabetes. All of this is interrelated. Sometimes it's not a direct contact, but the yeast toxins are affecting these organs. So now you have symptoms, conditions that are expanding and growing from that starting point. And something that you had, and we'll talk about this more later, but multiple sclerosis as well. You wouldn't necessarily think diseases mm -hmm. like that would be tied basically to diet. Well, and I think that's a shame because I think it's very simple mechanics. I don't know why we still can't get that nutrition is the key component. It's chemistry. We're not talking something far out. I'm not talking bee sting therapy. I'm talking nutrition and these break down to vitamins, minerals, fatty acids. It's what we're made of. So I think it's the most critical thing we need to do to turn conditions like multiple sclerosis around or any grave condition and minor. Um, I'm always astonished when I see someone with ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, which is an autoimmune of the GI tract, and they'll see the top specialist. And these doctors literally will tell them, your diet has nothing to do with what's going on. I mean, you know, it's almost as if it's um, two different realities going on, and the paradigm needs to shift, and we need to start working together. There are great things on the side of Western medicine. We do need drugs. We do need surgery. But we are so missing the preventative steps, and we're not filling in the picture, and um, that's a shame. Now, why is that? I mean, I don't know how many doctors we've talked to and, and information that we've read that say exactly what you're saying, but still the two don't come together. And why is it taking so long for that to happen? I think big pharma. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a constitution in itself. It's a money-making machine. And unfortunately, I'd like to say the integrity is still there that we work together. I think it's happening in small pockets. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've been doing this 13 years, and I can tell you I don't see enough change. I don't see enough of the ignorance going away and some of the arrogance. And the reality is we're not deficient in Prozac. We're not deficient in Prilosec. We might be deficient in vitamins, minerals. So we're missing it. And we're doing crisis management. We're not doing preventative. Uh, you know, we're not getting to the root, which is always infection and inflammation. The thing we forgot the most, the body is extremely intelligent. You just have to clean up the environment for a long enough period of time. And that's really what I do in my practice is I watch changes all the time because if you get to the root in removing those infections such as candida viruses and you get rid of the inflammatory factors, the body heals like that. It's not a mystery.